Hi guys, it's Grandma Cheap Cheap and welcome to my home here in Southern Colorado. And today I um, went out early this morning because I found uh, some apothecary cap cabinets. Now, um, for the ones who've been following me a little while, and I did a uh, video for the Real Women of Philadelphia trying to win a kitchen makeover and in that video and I'll attach it um, to this one uh, I said that one thing that I would do is get some apothecary cabinets and I found some I got up this morning and went to an estate sale early because this is the first time that I've seen them and they were um, just what I wanted. So I have two. I bought both of them. And I'll have Mr. to mount them on the wall. They are very deep. Uh, this one is a rosemary jar. And it has something in there. I didn't even, I think that's um, incense. Okay, and this one is for sage. You see how deep that um, that drawer is? Um, if I put anything in there, I will put them in Ziploc bags so they'll stay. But uh, it might just be the look of it that I'm, I'm going for. So I found my apothecary uh, cabinets. And apothecary is a, a French term. I looked it up. It is, I thought it was some other language, but it is French. And it has to do with the uh, olden days or turn of the century when there were pharmacists that would put medicines and um, not necessarily potions, but medicines and they would um, they would combine uh, different ingredients to make um, medicine back in the old times. So apothecary uh, cabinets, yay, I found them. I also found um, one of these clay um, loaf pans uh, also at the estate sale. So uh, as I told you, I love these to cook in. They are very, very good. This one has a, a coating on the inside, like a ceramic coating. So I'll be very happy to put uh, banana nut bread, which I also have a video on in here. Um, <clears throat> it's been kind of cold around here because our furnace uh, acted up. It's broken, so we have to wait until Monday before the uh, plumbing and heating guy comes out and fix the furnace. So yesterday what I did, or actually last night, to um, bring the temperature in the house to a comfortable level, I just went to uh, Walmart and got some, some um, let me get a fork here and show you. Got some um, turkey wings and cut them up. Here's the little winglet and um, some neck bones. And what else do I have in here? Uh, various little meats. And I smoked my meats for my greens for the winter. So it was low and slow. I put it in the oven about 200, 250, and for several hours I just smoked this. You can imagine it smells so good. Um, smoked my meats for my greens and my beans for the winter. And, um, and I'll do a, a video on if you want to smoke them. It's 
absolutely uh, cheaper than going to the store and buying smoked neck bones or smoked meats during the winter because this was probably less than five or six dollars I forget maybe my wings were five dollars and my neck bones were two or three but um, they're pretty pretty toasty and what I did was I put about six ounces of maple syrup a whole jar of smoked a uh, liquid smoke and this this is a new seasoning it's McCormick Grill Masters and it's molasses bacon um, this was a seasoning this is a seasoning and it comes like this if you can see that uh -oh. and I just put that all over here too but it's a great flavor I'm glad I had a little less so um, this is a good thing to have in your uh, seasoning cabinet and it's Grill Masters Molasses Bacon Seasoning Blend one more thing is these are at Walmart they're um, they were a dollar they're a dollar right now and these in the summertime um, they had in the produce department um, to cut your watermelon well I'm, I'm gonna use it to uh, help me cut my pumpkins if you can see in the background I've got a whole pumpkin patch here but I thought if you see these pick it up now pick up two um, or three and that's what I did and if you can see I have a whole bunch of pumpkins I have a project ready for um, today so um, now there's bunches of different kind of pumpkins this is a Cinderella pumpkin and it's kind of flat a very deep orange um, color I love this um, they have different color pumpkins too and that was just uh, it, it cost too much this one was okay it was um, 39 cents a pound so it came out to maybe three dollars and I'll, I'll put this out on my porch and here's some other pumpkins but they have pink ones and green ones and very pretty pretty um, color different color uh, pumpkins that I'm sure the scientists have come up with and you know give you a variation other than the orange ones but I'll show you what I'm gonna do with those in another video but thanks so much for joining me leave leave me a thumbs up please subscribe um also you can write me at grandma cheapo at gmail.com follow me on twitter at grandma cheapo and enjoy your the rest of your day i'm sorry i think i gave you the wrong email address it's grandma cheap cheap at gmail.com so again i just wanted to share my apothecary finds with you enjoy the rest of your day goodbye now